Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Talking Pains today's video. Eid Mubarak and I am back. Well, it seems like I'm back after like 20 years or so, but I'm finally back. How great is that? I hope all of you had a beautiful Eid no matter in which part of the world you you are or you've been while in Eid. I mean, when I'm recording this video, it's still Eid in Bangladesh, so I don't know in which part of the world you're currently in, but I hope you've had a great Eid while distancing socially because, you know, this whole pandemic thing, it's still not over. So you should socially distance yourself from your family and friends, you know, and still enjoy. Like every time I paint, be it watercolor or acrylics or poster paint or oil, I mean oil, oh my god, these paints, I mean, get on my fingers, my face, my eyebrow, they even, they, I, there is even history of me eating paint, I mean, there was a time when I was painting probably something on a canvas and it was, thank Allah that it wasn't oil paint and it was acrylics. And while I was painting, Sadika came into the room and she was like, Atti, tumar date ki. And I mean, I can't even explain. There was like red paint on my teeth probably. I don't even know how it got there. <sighs> okay, keeping everything aside. Um, today we are going to do, uh, I wouldn't say beautiful calligraphy because I don't know how it's going to turn out to be. But let's see. Um, I want to, it, this calligraphy thing to be a bit different with a very different vibrant background unlike my normal calligraphy that I do on yellow canvas. I mean, I have a thing for yellow as a background or a canvas, not yellow in every single thing, I, I mean. So, um, I'll try to, I mean, go out of the all yellow background into a kind of a vibrant background. I don't know, I'm probably going to add up yellow at the end because I've already taken yellow on my palette. But let's see what it ends up to. So, let's get straight into coloring with one of my favorite watercolor brushes. This brush is so soft and the bristles are just perfect. I mean, for watercolor, they go like swish and swash on the paper without even damaging your paper or, you know, bringing that you don't want texture on your art kind of thing. I don't have a word for that. Yeah, you know, I hope you understand already. Look, I've already taken yellow. I mean, prior to starting of the painting. Like, Maisha, can you not already see your future? You can never get out of this yellow background thing that's stuck to your head for a lifetime. Like, what should I do with myself? Okay, so, oh, so today's video was supposed to be about that uncle who I had disowned a long time ago. I wouldn't say a long time ago because it's probably, not probably actually, it's about a year, not, not, not exactly a year ago. It was during HSC admission season, sorry, university admission season. And if you don't know what university admission season is, in Bangladesh, after your grade 12 final exam, there is like this rush within the students that they you know start prepping for different government universities different private universities and they start attending tuitions they start taking tuition from teachers and different students of those universities where they want to get enrolled in and even different coaching centers or academies whatever you call it and in that time that's the time when people you know kind of prep it's more like a sat prep season kind of like that but it's, we call it admission test season because you're actually not preparing for just one or two exams but quite a number of exams depending on the number of universities you decide to enroll in so yeah and it's it's a very stressful season yeah that it is and i already i'm not going to talk about how stressful the season itself is because i have a 30 minute long podcast kind of thing for talk i mean it's within the talk and paint you can find it in my channel just go over there and you'll know how stressful it was for me i don't know i mean if you've already passed that season i don't know how it was for you but for me personally it was very hectic 
So given the hectic situation, given the, you know, the pressure of studies and cat and, you know, cramming new stuff in your bucket, things that you've never learned in college, getting to know all of those just for the sake of an admission test is quite hectic. And so they're like, came an uncle who none of my family members know. I mean, he's not a family relative. He is not a family friend. He's nobody. But he decided to make an appearance out of, I don't know where, actually nowhere. And, you know, he started giving my father visits to his pharmacy asking about my whereabouts and stuff like that. So, you know, if we sum it up, we found out, I mean, I found out that he was a guardian of one of my classmates out at the coaching center I studied. Yeah, probably, yeah, not probably actually, yes. He was one of the guardians of one of my classmates in the coaching or the academy. I got myself enrolled in during that admission season and that specific uncle he was actually really helpful kind of a person in the beginning i mean it's not like he helped a lot but his the way he showed himself the way he acted i wouldn't say acted probably he is like that the way he was actually it was very friendly and inviting and my dad being himself he became really you know easy going with that guy in a matter of weeks yes that's my dad thank you Abu. and my dad started you know he started giving my dad you know very often visits to my dad's pharmacy and you know started wasting my dad's valuable time i would have to say that so sorry uncle but it was my dad's fault as well because he gave that guy time and attention like seriously so what happened with the guy, I mean, with that uncle, respectfully, is kind of interesting. So, um, as I just said, um, his, his offspring, I don't know if I should use the gender of that classmate of mine whose father was that uncle. So, okay, so his child, who used to be my classmate at that academy, um, was a very high achiever. Mashallah, may Allah bless that person. She, uh, I didn't want to use the gender. Oh, you probably didn't okay, hear. Okay, so assuming that you didn't just hear what I just said. Oh, oh my God. Did I just? <laughs> I literally used just constantly for three, three times. I mean, I don't even know how many times I've been since how long I've been using just throughout the video. Who? You see, uncle, this is what you make me, you know, make me feel from the inside that I've been using the same word over and over again in one video. Like, ha. Huh. Thank you, uncle. Only the, a single thought of you makes me, makes me forget my words and, you know, keep on repeating myself over and over again. I just don't like you that much. By the way, this is my mother's beautiful masala cha. I love this tea. I just love this tea. To those of you who don't know what cha is, um, in Bangla, as I'm a Bangladeshi, in Bangla, we call uh, tea cha. So yeah, and my mother's spiced mixed masala cha is beautiful. It's just that perfect blend of masala with that fragmented... I need words guys, I just need words, more adjectives to objectify my mother's masala cha. Comment below if you love masala cha just as much as I love mine. Okay, so back to our disowned uncle. So this Mr. Disowned Uncle, as I just said, um, oh I see that, I've used just again, ah, whatever. Okay, so just, <laughs> okay. No using of just. <sighs> Calm your nerves down, Maisha. No using of just. Phew. So, like I said, um, Mr. Disowned Uncle used to give my father visits to his pharmacy and um, he used to bring up different topics in his first session of visits. 
which were like random stuff from politics to economy to to the business and stuff like that which interestingly would always end up into a discussion about me and my grades in the academy of course um different classes that they took and those weekly exams that they took i'm like are you serious i don't even know your name why do you care and that too come bother my father pressing him about my scores and stuff like that my father did not ask you about that did he Okay, going back to Mr. Unwanted Uncle, his constant nagging and giving visits to my father and, you know, talking about how amazingly his kid did compared to me specifically, he always had to bring up my topics. Um, had a very negative impact on my dad. My dad started worrying about me, about my future. He even had me sit down with him talk about my future and how I was studying and stuff like that which my dad never does if you know me and my dad you would know he never does those stuff but he actually did that because he was so freaking worried by Mr. Unwanted Uncle thank you uncle for increasing stress on my dad who was already worried about his life and business and he has other stuff to worry about aside from your stupid stuff okay okay look whoever you are an uncle or auntie whatever you are if you're playing the role of Mr. Unwanted Uncle in someone else's life, please stop. You're, you're, not, you're not just being an annoyance, you're being an extra pressure to them. You're being an extra pressure to the whole family. You're, you're just invoking worthless and useless arguments that are happening between parents and kids. Yes, even kids who want to work on their development, so please stop. I don't need you. We don't need you. I think we should probably do, a, you know, a we don't need you campaign against these headache of uncles and aunties who are like, you're, who are like so much of annoyance to us and nothing more than headaches. Like, I'm serious. I mean, who wants to know? I mean... How much time do you have in your daily schedule that you'd go visit someone else just to tell how your kid did better than that specific person's kid? Like, seriously, I don't even have time for a soap opera. I mean, back then I didn't have, I didn't have time for a soap opera. I mean, how do you, after doing hours of office and business stuff, have time to go to somebody else's place and talk about how their kids didn't do as well. You're not helping, okay? You are not helping. Ooh, the thought of that uncle makes me grit my teeth. Like, ugh. <sighs> Calm your nerves down, my child. Calm your nerves down. Okay, so about today's calligraphy, um, like I told you guys before, I'm so much into yellow and a yellowish orangish background that see although i had kind of thought of not using yellow i ended up using a lot of yellow so i probably have to put in some greens and probably some reds and oranges to kind of tune down the too much yellow and ochre that this background is giving off i really want to do try something different Suggest me some new colors in the comment section that I should try out as backgrounds, probably pink, or some other colors that you've probably tried out, and I would love learning, yeah. Also, um, the calligraphy that I've done today, and will be, you know, finishing off with black ink later on, is one of my favorite names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's Asanyun, which means all hearer or the one who always hears like no matter where you are or however you are or in which situation you are god will always hear your prayers even if your prayers are not you know even if they don't come out as words or as spoken prayers god is always listening and he sees everything he hears everything he even knows those unuttered things that go through our minds so have patience and 
bear through it. He's always there. I mean, I don't know if there's any other name of Allah that's so relating to today's topic. I mean, back at those times when Mr. Unwanted Uncle used to pry into my life and make my beautiful life, my blissful life as haven into a wrecked mess, this name of Allah kind of, you know, kept me going through all of that. Not probably with sainty, but with whatever I was left with. Yeah. I'm not gonna go into emotional stuff today, but because it's not supposed to be one, and rather it's supposed to be a getting all your hard anger out on Mr. Unwanted Uncle and all those other unwanted, disowned uncles and aunties of this society. Ha! I don't want you, uncle. Nobody wants you. And guess what? When I finally got admitted, I mean, when I got acceptance from Buit and those other universities that I had sat for an admission test to, this uncle, I mean, Mr. Unwanted Uncle, he stopped visiting my father. I mean, he stopped contact with my father to such an extent that he even stopped receiving my father's phone calls. The calls my dad made to let him know about my results and stuff in different admission tests. Like, weren't you the same person who was worried about my quiz results in the academy? Like, to such an extent that you'd come to my dad every other day and ask how I did and how your kid did better? Then why don't you want to know how probably I wouldn't say great I wouldn't say good but you know how decent I performed in the actual test or do you want I mean why are you like hiding your face and, and like hid yourself from the rest of the world or specifically my dad like why don't you want to show your face with him anymore like look it's not like I had a rivalry with you or anything my dad even never knew you before this whole getting me admitted into this academy thing happened then like would you like worried right so why are you not like happy and why don't you want to know how decently i performed in the actual test why or were you like jealous of me and that's why you come to me specifically my dad every other day and would try to invoke a tension between me and my dad These people, Allah. Okay, so later on, when after such a long time, Mr. Uncle, you know, finally received my dad's call, and my dad kind of told him about my um, made mission test results, the positions I've gotten in different universities, which I had applied to. You know what his reply was? It was like so nonchalant, and he was like more of a. I don't know how to say that. I mean, I did not hear it in person, and instead it was like a shocked dad of mine who was like, you know what he said? He said this. I thought he would be so happy, and instead he's like, ah, oh, that's okay. It's not like I care. I mean, getting into a government university is not what matters. You can study at any university. What matters is what you're learning throughout the process and how you're growing. Eh, I don't actually care. Things like that. If you actually didn't care, then why would you come up to my dad every other day and talk about my academic quiz results, which actually never mattered? Seriously? Oh, moral of the story, Mr. Uncle never actually wanted to, you know, know how I was doing or stuff like that. And instead, he always came to my dad to brag about his kid and that's it. Like, so sweet of you. I mean, Mr. Uncle, you destroyed a lot of my mental peace in that specific time, which had its own stress and pressure. But, you know, I'm not going to hate you. And instead, I'm going to pray so that Allah gives you a lot of hidayah and you don't destroy people's mental peace like that anymore, ever. Not in your house, not outside of your house, not within your family, within your other relatives or distant relatives, wherever you go. And so that Allah makes you cautious about what you're doing and about your mouth, about the mouth of yours. Yes, it drives a lot. 
Okay, so done with um, ranting and stuff like that. I hope you liked this video. If not the rant, then please the calligraphy. I'm probably not going to show you guys the full resolution picture of how the end results are. If you want to know how the end results are, head to my Instagram account. Um, the description of my Instagram will be done in the description box below. I probably have already posted a full resolution image of this beautiful calligraphy. Yes, I'm going to use this adjective for my very own work. Um, thank you for watching this video. And if you've liked even 1% of this video, if not the ranting, then if only the calligraphy, then give this video a big like, share it with your friends because why get bored alone, right? I mean, make your friends bored as well. Also, if you don't want to miss any of my other videos that might be posted within the next 20 years, I mean, you might never want to miss any of my videos, right? So make sure you've hit that notification bell so you'd never miss any of my videos. Of course, subscribe. So till next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Stagfirullah.